to my floor in my kitchen. Emma, why are we on the floor? There's so much space up in, in the higher places. Well, it's because this is my fridge. And this is the size of the fridge area. But uh, today I'm going to be doing a grocery store haul. Uh, this is inspired by Charlotte. If you guys haven't seen hers, check hers out. Just a little bit about my dietary stuff. I am dairy free except for butter. It's like, <laughs> it's like one of those diets where it's like, what's, what's going on? Also, the supermarket run was a big treats haul. Last time I did a big treats run was about two weeks ago. So the treats that I got should last me about another two weeks. So usually what I'll do is I have, you know, my big amount of treats that will last me for ages but then I will go and get like a, a few little bits like I'll always refresh on the vegetables and uh, meat, tofu, fish, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I go to the supermarket Eon which is a huge chain. They also own a, a branch called My Basket which is much smaller. Because I'm not in the center of Tokyo the shops uh, tend to be quite a bit bigger so I do have access to like a really huge supermarket with lots of different options which is really cool and I'm very lucky. But yeah, I thought that the supermarket haul would be good for everybody to see what kind of things are available in Japan, what kind of things you get from the grocery store and also have some options if you are vegan or dairy free to see what kind of things are available to you as well. First of all to get this out of the way uh, let's just acknowledge that there is a huge amount of plastic. Um, you know Japan is not good with plastic. I have tried doing things to avoid it it's very, 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 very hard. Everything's very individually wrapped and very nicely presented, but it is a bit overkill sometimes. Today I went to two different stores. I went to Eon and then I also went to my local green grocer because I want to support her and like the business. Okay, anyway, let's get started. What should we begin with? I'm just gonna put the frozen items away first because they're, they're defrosting. So uh, let's just quickly get them done. I got a bunch of soy ice creams and dairy-free popsicles. You'd kind of expect a popsicle to be dairy-free, but you'll be surprised. So the soy ice cream that they sell most commonly in Japan is uh, this crazy soy vanilla. And sometimes you'll find other flavors, but mostly they'll just have vanilla. Uh, sometimes you can find chocolate and strawberry. Uh, but yeah, this is the most common one. This is the biggest size you can get. Uh, there are other soy ice creams available and dairy-free ice cream available, but you have to go to like uh, Azabajuban and go to the food store there. But this is like the general soy most common one. So yeah. So each one of these is 128 yen each. So I got two fruit popsicles. The first one is a pineapple one. They just have juice and sugar and stuff. And I also got a mango bar. So the mango bar was 78 yen and the pineapple was 98 yen. And the last frozen item are these green peas. I don't know, I find green peas just so easy to use and add to like stir fries. If I'm bored and eating noodles, I'll add some green peas. You know, they're just very uh, easy to work with. Hi, sorry, just cutting in here. I totally forgot to mention about the dry ice machine. So if you ask for dry ice, they give you a little token uh, and then they'll give you a bag. You put the bag over the top and put the token in and close the door uh, and press the button and it just shoots out dry ice like crazy into the uh, into the bag. And I don't know, it's just such a fun experience. I really love it. Okay, so now that that's the frozen stuff out of the way, now we can just take our time with the, with the rest. So in the Eon supermarket that I go to, there is a huge international foods section, which is just such a blessing. There's huge Italian sections, uh, Mexican food, Korean food, Chinese food, sauces, desserts, chocolates, candy, like drinks. There's heaps of drinks from other countries. There's just so many things to choose from now. But the only thing is that it gets quite expensive. The only thing I got from there is uh, falafel mix. I understand that falafel is apparently quite easy to make by itself, um, but I'm lazy, so... Uh, I just use this. So this is quite expensive. This was 429 yen. Next thing I'll look at is like some spices and stuff. So I got a green curry paste. A lot of the green curry pastes here are very, very, very hot and I can't deal with it, but there's some that I can deal with. This one I can, if I use half of it, I'm okay in the spice level. But some of them are like legitimately painful to eat and I can't take it. I'm a spice baby. Uh, but this one I found to be pretty good. And then I also got some more coconut milk. The green curry was 250 yen and the coconut milk was 238 yen. So I found a soup that I wanted to try uh, as goma tonyu, so uh, sesame and soy milk. And that was 198 yen. Then I got my spice mix for taco. I don't know, I just use this occasionally either on tofu or on meat and have like a burrito or something. Uh, but yeah, it's just easy and simple and it tastes really good, so I like it. That was 188 yen. Next I got some tortillas. Uh, usually tortillas can actually be pretty expensive in Japan. At most places you can find the El Paso ones and you can get 10 big ones but you have to pay like 700 yen which is really it's 
it's a big commitment. <laughs> but uh, these ones are much cheaper and you get five smaller ones and so I find that a lot more manageable as a person living by myself. And so a pack of five is 200 yen. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the dairy replacement luxury items because they're the things I'm most excited about. I will list my cheeses. I got two bags of soy milk and coconut oil shredded cheese. This is a new-ish one that came out. Yeah, it's coconut oil, soy milk based shredded cheese. It melts, not like the best, but but it still tastes good. So I got two bags of that because sometimes I just like to have a little bit of a sprinkle on stuff. Those were 298 yen each. And then to shake it up, I got another type of cheese. Oh wow, she living that luxury life. This is Beyond Tofu Miracle Protein. And it tastes really good by itself. They used to sell blocks of it and I used to love it, but they just changed to selling it in this plastic hell. And it's not fully necessary for me to get this, but it just tastes nice and I just like to snack on it sometimes. Uh, but it's a little expensive, but it's nice. So that tiny bit of tofu cheese was 278 yen. Also speaking of tofu, uh, if you come to Japan, tofu section is amazing. They had uh, tofu noodles now and lots of different kinds of, you know, they've got all the different kinds of tofu, but now, yeah, they've got the noodles and different soups with tofu in them. So there's lots of different options there if you want tofu based dishes. And also tofu is very cheap here because it's such like a widely used thing. You can get a pack of tofu for under a dollar, uh, 70 cents even, I don't know. There's really good prices. So if you want to either save money or you just don't want to eat some meat, then there's really good tofu selection. Next thing I got is just some soy yogurt. Yogurt? Why did I use the tea? Uh, so daisy de tsukutta yogurt. Yogurt made with soybeans. All of the large soy yogurts here uh, are made with no sweetness, so they're just plain. Uh, so if you like sweet yogurt, they also sell some fruit sauces there. Uh, I have like a mango one, but I like using this one in particular because it's cheap and it tastes good by itself. And I use it for like curries or put it in savory dishes, or I can add a little bit of sweetness and have it as a desserty kind of thing as well. So that soy yogurt was 248 yen. More exciting things! We got some poutine pudding! Uh, so these are a new thing that came out kind of recently. So it is plant-based from plants uh, puddings or flans or creme caramels, whatever you call them. So they're made with soy milk and almond paste. Uh, and they're pretty great. I'm a little obsessed. They're very wonderful. You can get them in a big pack. Yes, I bought two sets. Or you can get them in a little pack. So the big pudding cost me 118 yen. The set of three smaller puddings cost 178 yen. What's that more desserts you say? Oh, I can't stop. We have chocolate. So this is a chocolate that I recently found uh, at Eon and it's in this uh, section which is specifically for like allergy stuff. So there's a lot of things, you know, like uh, pasta made from uh, rice flour rather than wheat for people with wheat allergies. Uh, they've got sauces and curries and everything. This line of products specifically don't use the seven allergy foods. So eggs, milk, wheat, nuts, buckwheat, uh, prawn, and crab. But yeah, I use this for cooking if I bake anything. So these were 198 yen each. This one I'm probably gonna have really soon. It is a pudding flavored soy milk. This leads me into talking about milks. So uh, lately Japan has been bringing in oat milk finally. So there's oat milks available at Eon and some My Baskets and some other places as well. And there's also almond milk. Almond milk has been available for a while uh, and there's more varieties now, but you know, Japan is the king of soy milks. There are so many different kinds of soy milk. It's really cheap uh, and there's like more flavored soy milk than there is flavored regular milk. Um, but yeah, pudding's my favorite flavor at the moment. The soy milk was 75 yen. Okay, next thing I got for the dairy-free treats is soy whip. I don't actually know what I'm gonna use this for yet, but I just like having it around because sometimes I'm like, ah oh, man, I wish I had a little bit of whipped cream to like, judge this or make a thing. So the cream was 198 yen. Then we have a special little dessert. <gasps> a cake? What? Yes, Eon now has little cakes. Uh, you can get a strawberry shortcake or you can get this new one which is a matcha monbran, which is a chestnut cream on a little cake. Uh, but yeah, these are the same as the allergy things. So no milk, eggs, wheat, prawn, crab, buckwheat or nuts. So this, this tiny cake was 238 yen, which is why I don't get them very often, but they are kind of good. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is meat and fish. So the first thing I got was some salmon. I got two slices of sla salmon. <laughs> salmon? Uh, yeah, two slices of salmon. Uh, it's 360 yen. <laughs> and I'll usually just fry it in some olive oil and have it with potatoes and greens or something. So Japanese meat, the most expensive one is definitely beef. Uh, and now they do imports, so they have 
imports from USA, Tasmania, um, different areas of Australia. And those ones, the imported beef is cheaper, but the Japanese beef is just still very, very, very expensive. It's kind of like a special occasion thing unless you're like super wealthy. So looking today, I saw a lamb. Lamb is pretty rare to find, but they had some today. So, uh, but again, very, very expensive. Uh, and then the cheaper ones are always pork and chicken. Actually, I got some pork today. So I got uh, a norsu. That is pretty, pretty expensive, 483 yen. That's, mm, not the best price, but I'm like, it's a little worse for you girl, Emma. It'll be fun. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the stuff that I got from my uh, local greengrocer. Another beautiful treat. Look at these straws. They're so beautiful. Smell amazing. Um, these were 399 yen, which is pretty expensive, but cheaper than the supermarket. So a lot of the stuff that I get from my greengrocer is a lot cheaper than you would find it in the supermarket. Also, cutest thing, and one of the best things about going to a greengrocer is it's more of like a human interaction if you go to like a local small business rather than going to like a big chain or a big supermarket. Uh, and I'm friends with my vegetable lady and she was like, Emma, you like kiwis, right? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I brought you kiwis. <laughs> She brought me two kiwis and she was like, don't worry, they're super delicious. And I was like, ah, so uh, yeah, she gave me two free kiwis. My sweet lady. And one of the better things as well about going to the greengrocer is you can get some things without plastic. Um, I know you can do it at the grocery store as well, but usually my place has more stuff out of plastic than, uh, than most supermarkets. Unfortunately today, a lot of stuff was in plastic, but I got a two things. <laughs> Wow, I got two things out of plastic. So I got a paprika or a capsicum or a pepper. And then I also got a broccoli. Broccoli is a little bit small, but it's fine. Then I got a pumpkin or a kabocha. Um, I was thinking of doing like roast vegetables, which would be nice. I got some carrots, some potatoes, onions. The bag ripped on the way home, so here's my onions. Then I got some chingensai or pak choy. Look at that little guy. And then I got some mustard spinach or komatsuna. Now let's do some math. So just from the greengrocer, I spent 1,451 yen. And then my big shop from Eon was 5,590 yen. So if we do a little bit of mathematics, this shop cost me 7,041 yen, which is a lot of money. Ah. But it lasts me a while. This is the treats. It's all good. So the most expensive thing from the Eon shop was the uh, the pork for the uh, the roast. So that was 483. Like the most expensive was the salmon. So if you want to save money, eat more tofu. <laughs> so for the past month, I've actually been eating only at home. I haven't done takeout once. I haven't done anything. I haven't done Uber Eats. So I looked at my budget app and I, I got the, the month of spending and I divided it by the number of days. And it ends up that I spend about 1,200 yen a day on food. You know, some days I'll spend $70 on groceries and other days I'll spend no dollars on groceries. And so yeah, overall about $12 a day, which I'm totally fine with. Um, Cause if I eat out, it's way more than that. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with getting a treat every now and then. Do you want to see in my fridge? Okay, let's check out the fridge. Ta-da, wow. <laughs> Look at that, that looks awesome. We finally have a lot of food to eat. Okay, so now we're at the end and I'm gonna talk quickly about plastic bags because, you know, I bring my own bags to the supermarket. You know, even if I get everything in, in my bags and I don't get any extra plastic than what is necessarily already on the products, I still lose because in a lot of places in Tokyo and probably Japan, uh, especially the place that I'm in, you are not allowed to throw your trash out in anything except for a plastic bag. And now they're kind of moving forward in their charging for plastic bags, but there's no alternative. You still have to throw your stuff out in a plastic bag. So I have to get plastic bags. A lot of people buy plastic bags separately for the trash, but it's like, What's going on? <laughs> also, a lot of the stuff that I bought today was quite expensive because it was imported or it's like a, a specialty food. But if you just stick with Japanese based things, tofu, shoyu, mirin, you know, like very basic vegetables, you know, it, it's gonna be really cheap, I think. Okay, well that was my supermarket haul, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. But thank you for watching. Who knows what the next video will be? Maybe I'll cut my hair. Ah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Janet.